Hi, I'm Chuck Creasy and I'm here to teach you power tennis. In the next few minutes, we're going to be doing a lot on mechanics and new ways of hitting the ball to give you added and extra power. But we're also going to give you a unique shot selection strategy developed by Paul Wardlaw. Also, some momentum control strategies. So sit back and enjoy power tennis. Now, tennis has evolved from the place where we used wood rackets to these high-powered rackets and a lot of variations in between. You know, if I had my way as a coach, we'd go back to these small rackets because players really had to learn how to stroke the ball and you really could not play well unless you had long and classical strokes that delivered a good impact to the ball. With the bigger rackets, players can get away with poking the ball and just arming the ball and have some kind of results. But in the old days, probably on Bjorn Borg was the player that was able to use circular power, which where he held an open stance and was able to use his trunk and generate great racket head speed to make contact with the ball. But his speed and timing were so good that he was able to do it with this small racket. Nowadays, with the bigger rackets, a lot of players do this, and that's the way that you have to swing to generate the racket head speed that you need to hit the ball hard. The biggest thing that's changed with the technique in the last 15 years is that we used to have to use the linear power, which came from straight back back swings and simple follow throughs. Now we can use an open stance, and we get circular power, which comes from the trunk and the shoulders, where we can load and we can explode and get a lot of racket head speed. We're really lucky because the two people that are going to be helping today are one player, Shelly here, who started tennis with the old rackets and learned very classical linear strokes. And uh, it's really good because, Shelly, we're going to be teaching you today how to get a little bit more circular power and more racket head speed because you're very consistent. And you've got a great, beautiful classic game. But we're going to try to get more racket head speed. And Dave, of course, Dave learned a little bit later with the bigger rackets, right, Dave? And Dave already has circular strokes, and he generates a lot of power already from his legs and his trunk. So we've got one player learned in the old classical way that had to switch to the bigger rackets and at first was a little bit confused. And then Dave, of course, he started a little bit later and he has racket head speed already built in because he's had the open stance and used the circular power from the start.